And I think we'll probably have autonomous right handling in like half of the population of the U.S. by the end of the year. So <clears throat> we've had a very exciting quarter. We were able to successfully launch Rover Taxi, so providing our first drives with no one in the driver's seat, with paying customers in Austin. And as some may have known, we've already expanded our service area at Austin. It's bigger and longer, and, and it's, it's going to get even bigger and longer. The, we were expecting to really greatly increase the Austin service area to yeah. well in excess of what competitors are doing. And uh, that's hopefully in a week or so, two weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks or so. And uh, and, and then we're, we're, we're getting the regulatory permission to launch in the Bay Area, Nevada, Arizona, and a number of them. And Florida, a number of other places. So as as we get the approvals and we prove out safety, then we'll be launching the autonomous ride hailing in most of the country. And I think we'll probably have autonomous ride hailing in like half of the population of the U.S. by the end of the year. That's that's at least our goal, subject to regulatory approvals. I I, I think we'll technically be able to do it. So. Assuming we have regulatory approvals, it's probably addressing half the population of the U.S. by the end of the year. But we, we, we are being very cautious. We don't want to take any chances. And so we're going to yeah, go, go cautiously.